Printer's Alley in downtown Nashville will forever change in just a few months. A planned hotel there will shutter several longtime businesses, including one that gave a country supergroup its start. New at 10, our Chris Cannon is live on Printer's Alley. And Chris, a farewell show of sorts tonight, right? This is where it all started in the late 90s for Rascal Flatts. And when the guys heard that the fiddle and steel guitar bar was closing, they knew they had to play one last show where it all started. Time changes everything. But over the years, time has sort of stood still on Printer's Alley. It's one of the last really sort of real places in Nashville. It's very unique, a little bit gritty. That's what gives it so much personality, and that's why people like it. But change is coming to the alley. A new hotel is moving in and pushing out institutions like Lonnie's and Fiddle and Steel, even after a grassroots group tried to save them. At the end of the day, you know, progress wins. But before an era ends, a throwback to a super group that got its start here. They played every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, they were a house band. Allison Bradshaw was at Fiddle and Steel Guitar Bar when Rascal Flats got together. Rascal! Jay and Gary first started out together and they started, we were only half the size we were. They started out on the little stage, just those two together. When the guys heard of Fiddle and Steel's fate, they wanted one more show on the stage that started it all. And I think they're excited to get up there and play again and just have fun. Flats played for America Thursday night on Sirius XM, but they filled fiddle and steel just like they used to 14 years ago. Now, I wish there was some way to save it. It's, uh, we got a lot of history there and a lot of wonderful, wonderful memories there, so uh, it's kind of heartbreaking. Change is coming to Printer's Alley, but not before a part of fiddle and steel's history brought down the house. See they're still breaking down from tonight's show, a show that Steven Tyler stopped by to take in a few songs. Now there is a bar just around the corner from here that recently went out of business and it's just sitting empty right now. The folks here at Fiddle and Steel looked into moving over there. They tried, but in the end it just was not possible. So New Year's Eve will be the last night for the Fiddle and Steel after 18 years on Printer's Alley, but not after one forgettable night tonight with Rascal Flats. We are live on Printer's Alley. Chris Cannon, News Channel 5 HD. Wow, Chris, thanks. Uh, the Rascal Flat Show was broadcast live tonight, as Chris mentioned on Sirius XM. It will replay several times on its Y2 Country channel.